Hello, today I'd like to show you a demonstration of the SWIT on-camera broadcast video monitor S1071F. It's a 7-inch LCD monitor, 1024 by 600 resolution, 16 by 9. The contrast is 900 by 1, with a wide viewing angle. The monitor can be viewed to 160 degrees both horizontally and vertically. Now let's see the input interfaces. It takes two HDSDI input, two loop through output. One HDMI input and HDMI converted to SDI output for the video DSLR broadcast and one composite video input. The RJ45 port is for front and rear tally light controlling. The power supply is through 4-pin XLR socket or batteries. Support V-mount, gold mount and many different kinds of DV batteries. The DV battery mount is snap-on designed and can be taken down easily and changed to another type. There are various Sony, Panasonic, JVC, Canon DV mounts for selection. And for V-mount, gold mount batteries, you can fix the mount plate in the supplied screw threads. The most remarkable functions are the video analysis for SDI and HDMI. Now it's SDI from Sony PMWX1 camera. The waveform Y, C, B, C, R display. The waveform R, G, B display. And each of the Y, C, B, C, R, R, G, B waveforms can be set to full scale display. Vectorscope display, RGB histogram display. The histogram will turn yellow at the right end if the picture is overexposed. SDI embedded audio meter display, up to 16 channels supported. The SDI embedded audio can be output through this earphone socket. And this is SDI timecode display. False color filter. To check and help you to adjust the camera exposure. See the false color chart. The overexposed parts are displayed as red and the underexposed subjects are displayed as blue. OK now, let's see the Peaking Focus Assist. The monitor offers bi-color focus assist, red and blue for different environments. And see the blue only mode. Internal 100% color bar. and zebra stripes warning overexposure. Now we connect the monitor to the Canon 7D camera. The SDI video analysis functions are also available under HDMI input. Switch on the monitor and camera. and select input video to HDMI. 
OK, now it's HDMI input from Canon's 7D camera. See the waveforms Y, C, B, C, R, R, G, B, full scale. Vector scope, RGB histogram, two channels HDMI audio meter. The 7D HDMI does not output audio, so we can't see the audio bar here. And if the HDMI carries audio, you can also listen through the earphone socket. This is the two-step zooming function. First step is especially for Canon DSLR scale to make the effective image full screen display. The second step zoom-in is to set pixel-to-pixel -pixel display. The zoom-in function works during recording with no delay to the video. The peaking focus assist is still two colours, red and blue switch. You can also zoom in the picture under the focus assist mode. false color, blue only mode, zebra stripes, video flip, the monitor also has a function to convert HDMI input to SDI output. Now we can use another monitor to see the SDI output. Finally, the Swit S1071F monitor comes with many useful accessories. So take it along with you, it's a good choice, thank you.